Hi, Jack Cush here reporting from ACR 21. Another interesting poster, poster number 1100. The lead author is Mitrovic. This is a group of French investigators reporting on their collective experience with pulmonary arterial hypertension occurring in patients with adult onset Stills disease. Um, some big names in the author list here, uh, Jacques Pouchot and Bruno Fortrell, who've written a lot about Stills disease in the past. Um, they, this is a two-center collection of data. They found 13 patients with this complication of adult onset Stills. Interestingly, all 13 were women. So what they did was they uh, had to meet Yamaguchi criteria for having Stills disease. They had to have confirmed pulmonary artery hypertension confirmed by right heart catheterization. All these cases had PAH diagnosed after the diagnosis of Stills disease, and about 85% of these new PAH diagnoses occurred during a Stills flare. Now, the all women are not. Is that important? It seems important, but I'll remind you of Bywaters, who first reported 13 patients in 1971, all female with Stills disease, and then Bujak in 73, in the journal Medicine, reported the next uh, cohort, which was 10 all males from the NIH. So we need more numbers to know whether this is exclusively a female thing. What are the links to this? You know, could it be female? Um, they had down that 69% um, uh, of patients had received steroids. I, I'm sorry, had received an IL-1 inhibitor. 100% had received steroids. And this has been my bias when I've seen a few cases of this. Patients have been on steroids, been on IL-1 inhibitors. And I always worried whether that might be a contributory cause in some small subset. And what would lead to that? I don't know. Uh, and that's not offered up in this report. Patients in their studies have been exposed to, as I said, 69% um, IL-1 inhibitors, 31% methotrexate, 15% TNF inhibitors, uh, and none had seen IL-6. Now, after the diagnosis, they all were then managed by uh, the rheumatologist and the pulmonologist, 77% going on PAH drugs, and then the rheumatologist put them on uh, IL-6 inhibitors in 38% of the cases, 13% received IL-1 inhibitors, 85% prednisone. Um, the outcomes were mainly survival, and they're not good. You know, you're not supposed to die from Stills disease. It's pretty uncommon. You're going to die usually from the therapies that we use, um, mainly steroids. Uh, but they did have a three-year survival of only 74%, and that is on par with what you'd expect with a diagnosis of PAH. So this is a scary complication of an often scary diagnosis. Um, luckily, this is a nice cohort to learn from. We'd like to learn more about how to best treat these patients. Uh, and maybe on down the line, we'll see these French investigators put together their experience with success or no success, for instance, using IL-6 inhibitors. But right now, we don't really know. Hope you're enjoying the meeting. Tune into more on Room Now.